there, when you guys are on offense and you know you have a guy like Zane who has a range 56, you know, that great of a range, how much comfort does this give you? Uh, yeah, we've been spoiled, you know. I mean, it gives us great comfort. and I mean, he's been a major factor in, you know, all every game we've had this year, uh, especially on the road. So, uh, yeah, it's really uh, – and I'll tell you something, too. You know, he, he's a very, very talented young man, but he's worked really, really hard, too. And he, he is extremely valuable as a field goal kicker, but he's also equally valuable kicking them balls out of the end zone. So, he, it's, it's a great comfort to know that. You know, all you got to do is get to the 40, you got points, and um, maybe 45. Not just saying, but also your specialties performing really well the last few games. Uh, do you like where they're at right now? Yeah, I do. Uh, we got The key to everything we're doing is not be satisfied with anything. I mean, you always tend to harp on the things that you're not doing very well, but we got to get better at every single area. That's the key to, to, to winning in this league because it's going it's to be a battle every week. You're going to be in a close game every single week. Uh, you hope so. And, um, uh, you, know, um, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the key is getting better every day at what you do. Special teams is going to, I mean, the Dory Jacks, I mean, he's, he's, he's the real deal. Uh, and so we got to do a great job, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, punting the football, a great job kicking off. Great job with our coverage teams, and so uh, you know, I think we're playing probably the best returner that we'll play against. And uh, so we got to do a great job. Everybody's got to do their job. Zero defects, and uh, we, you know the key for us every game is is we have to dominate in special teams, and uh, and we got to own the ball. We can't we can't put the ball in jeopardy. So that's big for us. Looking to hunting, Todd. You guys, especially in the cow game, really won the field position battle. Uh, just you know, how big has that been for you guys? Cause it seems like every time Matt or even Manny punts the ball, they're pretty backed up. Yeah, Matt. Matt's really talented punter, pin in the back, and you know we, uh, you know, and, and, and Manny actually last year was our backup punter. Yeah. yeah. So he's pretty accurate, you know, and you know we just, you know, we, we want to be aggressive, but we also want to be smart, and you know I think that's helped us. We, we, we've utilized our New York punt and. And our uh, uh, you know, pin punt with Matt very well. What needs to change in the first half to make sure you guys get off to a better start this weekend than the last two weeks? Uh, the, no, nothing. We just need to finish the game ahead. That's it. That's what we need to do. Uh, you know, it's not really like it's something we're doing or something like that. People, I mean, people work and practice and they have plans, and so usually you kind of. Get a feel, you know, you know, you'll get their best shot there early, and uh, so I would love to get off to a faster start, uh, but uh, I don't. It ain't how you start, it's how you finish, and so uh, if we get off to a great start, great. If we don't, great. All I care is how we finish. Crump uh, made some plays. Karan Crump made some plays this past week. He's doing a great job. Yeah. Great job rushing the passer. He's a pass rushing specialist for us. Try to do some things, moving him around. Um, he's a guy that's doing a tremendous job as a bullet on our punt team. He's doing a great job on special teams. He's he's really been a impactful to our team and doing a great job. I think he's second in the league in sacks, and, and I'm really proud of how he's playing. He's doing a great job for us. Kareem obviously adjusted really well with Chad Hansen in the second half. How did that experience help him when you're going up against a guy like you, Houston, the shoots and yeah, I think what's helped us is we've gone against some really good receivers. Uh, you know, the Butler kid from NAU, and uh, um, you know, the Tech had two receivers that were really, really outstanding. Um, you know, Cal obviously. Uh, I think that prepares you, but you better get used to it because that's going to be every week. And uh, obviously, I don't. You know, this is you know, I think probably the best receiving core maybe top to bottom in the league uh, that we're going to play. And then uh, the running backs are, 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 are as good as there is. Uh, so we got to do a great job of tackling the space. we got to do a great job um, in our coverage and our, and, uh, in our uh, coverages and to make sure we're not uh, have no uh, flaws as far, or defects as far as breakdowns. So um, their offensive line's big and probably the best offensive line we played against. So.
J.J. Wilson has uh, worked himself into a bigger role, scored a touchdown. How has he been implemented into this offense this week? Well, you know, he, he wasn't able to play the first, uh, was it two weeks or two weeks? Wasn't able to play the first two weeks. And so, you know, J.J. Uh, uh, has worked really diligently and hard and worked hard in camp. And uh, he's a, he's a definitely a guy that his physicality has improved dramatically. and and uh, had a big touchdown catch. I was really excited and happy for him. But, uh, you know, J.J.'s one of my favorite kids. He's just got a great spirit about him, and uh, I like his toughness, his competitiveness, and uh, I think he's a very integral part of what we're doing, and he'll continue to have his role expanded, I think. Uh, he's a very talented young man, and he's got a – I think he's a, I think our team – he's one of the guys our teammates like, and and uh, uh, I'm really proud of him. And as, as we move forward, I think he'll – Role will be expanded. James Johnson back to 100% yet, or still working through that? He's close. You know, he's close. He had that knee. He's still, um, I think he's close. I hope so. That's been tough.